a Visual Traders Studio training video. Creating and using VTS user functions, part one. A VTS element is any icon on the pad. A function is a type of element. Like a triangle is a type of shape. A user function is a type of function. There are three types of functions used in VTS. Platform, MQL, and user functions. Platform functions are the functions available from the MetaTrader platform. These are the indicators, trading functions, etc., that are dragged onto the pad as an icon. They do not have a drawing. An MQL function contains native MQL code. These two are icons and like platform functions do not have a drawing. Platform functions and MQL functions are covered in their respective videos. This video focuses on user functions only. A user function is created by dragging the function icon from the new panel of the toolbox onto the pad. After the function has been saved, it is available from the functions tab of the toolbox. The entire drawing can then be represented as an icon on the pad. So, a user function is both a drawing and an icon. The functions icon on the pad represents the entire drawing in the tab. So, what is a function in terms of computer programming? Generally, it is a self-contained collection of logical statements designed for a single purpose. In computer programming, functions are used to encapsulate some specific functionality. For example, to find the average of a set of numbers, a program must add each number in the set to get the total sum and then divide the total sum by the number in the set. So, in order to find an average, it requires two steps. If we are writing a computer program and need to find the average on many different sets of numbers, instead of repeating the same statements to add and divide, we can create a function, and simply call that function each time we need to find an average. The function might look like this, double, fn get average, double list. This means the function accepts one parameter, a list of double numbers, and returns a double, presumably the average. There are at least two advantages to creating functions. First, you can encapsulate complex functionality. This allows you to think above the miscellaneous details and concentrate on the real purpose of your program. For example, you may create a function called is market trending up. The function may involve hundreds of tedious calculations and complex logical statements, but once you create the function, you can simply view it as a simple test, is the market trending or not. The second advantage of using a function is that you are able to reuse the code. Your functions become your building blocks, the more you use them the more confidence you have in them. The advantage of building a collection of reusable building blocks cannot be overstated. A rich set of well-tested functions form a solid foundation for quickly building robust trading systems. Functions are generally called in the order they are listed in a program, or in VTS, the order in which they are connected. The first function called is the program's entry point. All programming languages provide an entry point, a location where the execution always begins. In the C programming language, the entry point is the main function. MQL has a similar function, which serves as the entry point. 
the MQL entry point is a function named start. In VTS the main system drawing represents the start function. So the main drawing, usually in the first tab, is the entry point of the system. The main drawing can contain logics, variables, etc., as well as other functions. For example, the main drawing of a quick start system contains four functions. QS open by logic, QS open cell logic, QS close by logic and QS close cell logic. To create a new user function or drawing, select the function icon from the new element section of the toolbox and drag it anywhere onto the pad. A message box will display. It asks if you would like to create a new drawing or function. You may edit the name. When you select OK a new drawing will be created and added to the tab. Whenever a new drawing is created, three elements are automatically added to the pad and connected together. A start element, a note element and a single end element. This drawing represents a very simple function that builds without errors, but essentially it performs no useful operation. This simple drawing is a great starting point for creating a usable function. Please watch part 2 of the creating and using VTS user functions to see how a real user function is created. This concludes the creating and using VTS user functions, part 1, training video. Thank you for watching and please see my other training videos for more information on using the Visual Trader Studio for MetaTrader.